Hi everyone, welcome to the next video on this fruit page from Small Victories by Johanna Basford. And we are doing this fruit today. Now I had a lot of head scratching trying to work out what this might be. Um, I have a feeling that Johanna just made it up. But I had a good look at various um, fruits and, oops, I put it that side. I found this. It's called a Lulo, I think, L-U-L-O, and it looked reasonably similar. So I thought we would use this. So basically, it looks to me like a sort of orange tomato, but I don't know. But I haven't got a pitch with leaves, which was probably a little bit silly. But anyway, that is how, um, that is what we're going to be doing. That's how we're going to colour ours. So let's move it across a bit. I actually prefer it to be on the other side. Um, There we go. That's better. It doesn't get in the way of my hand, although it does decide to. Oh. There we go. So there it is. So I'm thinking if we start with a slightly paler colour and then work up to that orange, um, I'm thinking probably the palest colour might be this one, which is the 108. It is the dark cadmium yellow and I'm going to put a light layer. Now I don't know what these are so I'm going to ignore them. Okay, it sounds a bit of a cop out but they're quite small so I don't feel that they're like water droplets. They'd be too difficult to deal with that that small and I just don't know. They might be supposed to be shining bits of light. Well we'll find out won't we? Maybe. We can ask Johanna what they are when she does her colouring school. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to the next colour. Simply go to the dark chrome yellow. And you can see we're going already getting a bit orangey. Whoop, there we go. And as from the picture, you can see it's much darker at the bottom. That's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to start at the bottom here and then just gently layer up. Now remember, although that is the centre of our fruit, the light, if it's coming down here, this is going to be the lightest bit. So that's what I'm going to be working with. These two are a little bit straighter, so it makes it a little bit easier. And when you're doing something like this, it can be just easier to work through your colours in order, not missing any out, and then you can get a more, you get a smoother transition between colours. So I'm going to go to the first orange that we have, which is the, it's the cadmium orange, is that right? Yes, the cadmium orange, we don't have a light one. Just questioning myself. I think it's the um, castles that have a light cadmium orange. I'm lucky enough to have so many sets, I get a little bit mixed up. So, putting more down here at the bottom and making sure I'm not pressing hard because I want, might put down a couple more colours, maybe one, maybe two. So, I need some room to be able to do that. Now if you're using a pencil that isn't very see-through, you could more easily cover these. It wouldn't necessarily show through, or if you're using a pen, but uh, they'll show, but you know, it is what it is. Here is the orange glaze. I don't mind um, that we're not covering up Johanna's work anyway. And I think this might be my final colour. It goes quite red here, but I don't know if I want to go that dark. This is quite a bright orange anyway. It's looking rather pretty. There we go. I actually can do another layer of this orange. This is going to be my last um, colour actually. Like 
that and then going back to our cadmium orange just to sort of blend it in a little better there's some areas here that aren't very well blended so I'm just going to work my way back through um, the colours that I did and just go over them a little bit and it'll just intensify the colour as well and give us a little bit more time colouring which is awesome so this is the dark chrome yellow Oops. I'm looking at the stem while I'm colouring this which is probably not a good idea I'm trying to work out what colour it is the one down here has definitely got some green in but the one over here looks quite brown so I'm not sure Oops. let's just go really square there we go and the last one is dark cadmium yellow and I'm just gonna just go over that bit a bit more so it looks a bit more intense I don't think it needs to look white and look yellow. There we go. I think they look okay. Now our leaves, as I say, I've been looking to see. I think they look quite dull, quite brownish. So I'm going to actually use the um, olive green yellowish, which is our very browny green. Um, see, these they don't look like this. Look, they don't look like that. But you know. You may have decided they were tomatoes or you may have done them in a completely different fruit. Now if you do these as tomatoes you can just do what I did but use reds instead, reds and oranges. Or this could be an unripe tomato. This colour isn't quite right for the tomato leaf. I wouldn't say. I would say it would be more... Um, more of a permanent green with a bit of pine, maybe a little bit darker than a permanent green. Sounds like someone's watching a TV next. I'm sitting, I'm might here, I'm next door to the sitting room where the big TV is. My children don't watch TV though. Must be husband, he's been in bed, he's not been very well. Maybe he's feeling a bit better. So I'm going to just fade that towards the tip. I don't know what the leaves look like, so they're not on my photo. If I was sitting at my desk, I would go and have a look and, and I would search for Lulo on tree or bush and uh, try and find a photo. But as we don't have one, I'm just putting it a bit darker at the base of the leaf which is probably wrong because the light is coming from above that one would be darker at the bottom so I'm just going to swap that I'm going to just use my eraser to take off a little bit from the top there there we go and then for these like we did for our grapes yesterday, they're a bit darker here and lighter towards the top of the leaf. I might only use this colour though, I certainly won't add another green because I want it to look quite brownish, I might add a bit of brown actually. And for the next three days we have got, actually one of them I think is quite obvious what it is. Two of them actually. One of them, the very, the one underneath here, the very last one, looks like an aubergine. But I didn't want to colour it as an aubergine. So, uh, I found something else. Okay, I am just going to grab a bit of brown. Um, what should we get? 
I'm thinking the walnut brown. That's a bit, um, yeah. No, changing my mind. I'm going to go for the dark sepia. I want one that isn't too reddish. And I'm going to add this to the twigs. I'm just going to put a little bit on top of what I've done to make them maybe look a little bit more woody. And then I'm just going to use it on the base, the darker bits of the leaf a little bit, just to darken them up a bit more. these as well particularly between them where they touch each other and it will hopefully provide a little bit of shadow hmm. it's not too bad is it yeah I'm sorry I didn't know what to do with the leaves um, yeah next time I need to look it up there we go, there is our, I think that's straight, they're at an angle aren't they? There is our Lulo. It's, it's a bit different isn't it? And it shows one cut in the picture which is quite interesting. Oops. Oh, you got a clue as to what I'm doing for the others, did you see it? Um, they look like tomatoes with those sort of dark seeds. Anyway. And that is me done for today. I'm not sure we were very long really, but um, I'm quite happy with how it looks. Um, oh, actually, oh, I dropped my pencil. I've got my dark sepia here. I'm just going to put it in here. Because they're overlapping, aren't they? They need a bit of shadow. There, that's better. It's amazing what a few strokes of pencil can do to a picture, isn't it? There we go. But now we are done. So thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and comment. It's really appreciated when you do that. Thank you to everyone that does already. And come back tomorrow for the next one. But for now, have a super day. And happy colouring. <laughs>